at what point, though, do you say to yourself, ah, fuck, you know what? I think I've outdone my mat, or I think I've gone too far, or mm. would it be that when the sparks are flying and you're like, oh, shit? Bro, yeah. Well, when, my, when I see my friend get electrocuted from tripping on the third, yeah, that was trapped back in the day. Killer Keller, official.com. Instagram UK Frontline. THTC, the UK's leading ethical streetwear label. Organically grown and ethically built garments from hemp, organic cotton and other sustainable materials. 2019 is their 20th anniversary year. Join me with THTC as a Killer Keller podcast sponsor celebrating music, social activism, hemp and street culture. THTC, eco-fashion redefined since 101.4 FM, 24 hours a day, all genres. Next FM. Beatbox created. Killer Keller. And we're here to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller podcast. <laughs> Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. This is a Killer Keller podcast transmitting live and direct central London or central as you need to be. Switch on now. Hi, yeah. Right. Big shout out to Graffiti Kings inside the place. Uh, UK Frontline all day. And um, without further to do, <laughs> it's a pleasure and an honour. We have another DDS champion inside the place. And uh, not to mention... Big in, up, big up. Big up, big up. And an, and an individual in his own right of style, finesse. I dear, oh dear, inside the place. How are you, brother? Good. All good. <laughs> yeah. Nice one. We were saying again, you know, it's classic, classic... Uh, Conversation starter. I swear we've fucking seen each other somewhere. Oh, you know I what I mean? No, I swear we've we've passed for, passed for, um, paths, cross mm. paths, mm. whatever you want to call it. Mm-hmm. You know, like in the, in this culture that mm. we live in. Yeah. Um, but I've been looking forward to this day to actually just meet you and say bless. Yeah, <laughs> quite, you know, okay. good. Hey, and likewise, bro. I mean, we've mm. tried to make this happen a couple of times. Yeah, I was talking. You know, we were talking just before we, we kicked off and mm. I had no idea how entrenched you were mm. in hip-hop, mm. street culture, mm-hmm. the lifestyle. I'm a fiend. Yeah. Yeah, I'm officially a fiend. I don't like to say that, but I am a hip-hop fiend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, it's good to... Um, that's my angle. Mm. A lot of people don't get into graffiti. They get, everyone's angle's different, but I was always connected. I felt a strong, you know... A strong pulling it's like pulling me yeah. the hip hop I love it like I, I, I love it I Which just you, want to live that I, I know I totally feel that yeah you and me are of the same age mm-hmm. and there's definitely that feeling of um, in, uh, creative participation yeah that comes with, like I was never that guy to be just watching yeah 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 you know you, wanna, you, you know you're itching innit yeah, you can't yeah, yeah. just it's like me I can't stand still for some, very long it's like that yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. I've got energy like and that energy needs to come out yeah yeah you understand yeah 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 man so. um and that's why I think somewhere down the line in the tapestry of like mm. the nineties era, mm. late late nineties era, we yeah. must have we have at definitely some point in these jams. Uh, I've been to plenty of break dance jams at Christmases yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Definitely, <laughs> yeah, 100%. it's just uh, we never got this close. It's mad, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's mad. It's crazy. And I've also I'm, I'm also totally like I mean a lot of what we're talking about here is going to be in, in retrospect, obviously, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and. Just from the buck, from the from the jump, sitting here, mm. the the amount of stuff I've already learned about DDS mm. in the early days, I'm just like, yeah, this is gonna be a fire podcast already. Cool, you know, I had no cool. idea. Had it's no all love, idea. Um, it needs to it needs to be told, you know. Yeah, yeah. And um, that's why I respect your platform, like what is Killer Killer Podcast, because you know the culture. You you're the guy to pop the questions, basically. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. well, it's like you I couldn't said, do it with a stranger. They wouldn't know what to ask. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. They don't know our angles. Yeah, they yeah, don't yeah. know our, you know, our upbringing, where we come from, like the flower that grew yeah, yeah. into what it is today. I appreciate you saying that. Because mm. from my point of view, like just like a lot of people that watch this, um, my audience are fans. Mm. They're, they're as geeky as me. They're as <laughs> like, you know what I mean? And and also... I, That's I, cool. I, yeah, I come from the culture side of things, That's you know cool. what I mean? So I, I, I have a, broad, I, a mm. broader idea. But mm. also I want to know. Yeah. So this is where this, this is cool. a match. It's cool. It's but, cool. But we, we're of a similar age, man. It's, yeah. it's crazy to think that you were early DDS, bro. Yeah. Yeah, 93, to put it exact. Yeah. 93. And I felt so privileged, like... The day sub come and check me, I was yeah. in like a half hour, halfway house and yeah. the day he put me in DDS, um, he come and check me like, because those times I just met sub and shoe. Yeah. Yeah. And um, he just come and check me one day, 
by the time we got round to Mounds Green Station, yeah. there's a little BR station there. And um, he's like, yeah, you want to put up DDS? I was like... I felt so, you know, because DDS was fire right then. Like, you know, they, these guys I respected. And I said, I actually said to him, are you sure? And he went, yeah, man, put up TVZ as well. That's my brother's crew. And I was like, bless, bro. Man. Wow. But yeah, subs, like, the grand, the granddaddy to me, you granddad. know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's sub All and shoe, they were, the, they were the key holders. Yeah. Did, did, did. Sub, shoe, yeah. Kedster, and Irish, and Stax, yeah. and Form. Yeah, yeah. Then diet, yeah, yeah. And like the, the whole DDS just started flowing from then. You know, ninety three it was born, late ninety two, ninety three, and then it just blossomed. Like wow. because the graph scene at those times, it was there was a real scene there. Yeah. I mean, man used to go out on the lines, yeah, freestyling. Like I'm, I haven't planned my date, mm. but I'm bumping into writers Farringdon. I'm bumping into writers in Great Portland Street, Edgeware Road, and like, it was just. There was a vibe, a real vibe. A real scene. Yeah. A circulating scene of people just being around and hanging out. Yeah, and that's why nowadays the scene has shrunk or died. Some people say it's died, but it can never die. No. Yeah, graffiti will always be around. But the scene then, everything, cameras and stuff weren't around, so the scene was more active. Yeah. Yeah, we we had parties on trains, bro. Yeah, smoking spliffs, bombing up, fucking everything. Anything Crazy. goes. Crazy. We're hanging off the back of them in tunnels. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, Mad. we used to run the lines. That's the way we used to see it. Yeah, London Underground didn't run it. We had control of it. Literally. Really? really? Yeah. yeah, I mean, I hear stories like, you know, Forms Podcast is a great example where he was saying about, uh, and Mir actually, Mir um, touched yep. on it as well, is the, 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 the ease back then of... Just, Straight. Do you, there wasn't a, there wasn't a, there wasn't it was more tolerated in a way. That's right. Yeah, it was more tolerated, and because there was more gaps, so to speak, so mm. you could get into a yard by just dunk, jumping over a wooden fence mm. instead of now negotiating pressure pads, cameras that do this. Yeah, like you have to do commandos now to do yards. Yeah. Back in the day, it was a piece of piss, bro. Really, literally. Yeah, I heard stories like you could just like climb over, climbing over a wooden fence, bro, and there's yeah. trains there, bro. The fence is like this high, bro. I don't. I'm just putting my leg over like that. Bro. Mad, <laughs> mad, crazy. It's hard to think. It's hard to think because you know the the way I remember it mm. was like the art first, the the pieces that you would see on the photos. You'd never really considered the, the logistics and stuff like that. You'd always be impressed with how great it's come out. Yeah. But now when you're talking like about the the ease. To, "Quote unquote," the ease of it, yeah, yeah. and coupled that with the fact that it was enough of you, enough of you doing it, and it was tolerated to a degree. That's right. Back then, that's uh, I mean, <laughs> created a lot of it's scene. Eye opener, yeah. The scene that's what was makes a scene. Fire, yeah. And like when I was fifteen, sixteen, and I lived in Stone End, yeah, with my mum and dad. I used to come back indoors every day. My mum and dad were saying, they knew. Mm -mm. I've got my hands covered in ink, paint, everything. But there was like, my mum and dad were always screaming, but there was a certain kind of, they let me get away with it. So how old were you at that time? I was about, those times, 15, 16. Yeah. Yeah, so basically, if I take it back to how I got into graffiti. Yeah, let's get into this. I got into graffiti through quite a well-known writer. People don't know this. People probably think, oh, I got into graffiti and landing that. But I got well, sent to a... Yeah, I got sent to a boarding school when I was young through being in care. So people aren't going to know... People no. aren't going to know about this. And who I met in that boarding school was a writer named Act. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and like, I've always been into hip-hop. I would never have ever, ever, ever thought it. Yeah, always been into hip-hop. But when I met Act, he showed me what graffiti was. And then I was like... Wow. Okay, so I used to break dance and stuff hard. Yeah, go to all competitions and that when I was younger. So graffiti was around then, but I never knew what it was until I met Act in school. And he was doing some mad outlines and throw-ups and it caught my eye. And I said, I actually said to him, what's that, bro? And he's like, oh, graffiti. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And like, he actually said to me, yeah, I'll show you. And then from that day, bang. <laughs> so Act <laughs> that, was, was the original Act kind of inspirer. Me, yeah. He showed me graffiti, how to do a throw up, how to do a tag. He discussed my first tag, which was like ice. I, I wrote ice before idea. Then I wrote deal for a little while. Um, and then it turned into idea, which Act actually helped me with. We discussed, oh, what should you write there? You know, when you're a toy, you're like, oh, I want to write a different tag. 
and then that's idea come out amazing. of deal. Yeah, idea come out of deal, which is similar letters, yeah, yeah, you know. Course, yeah. But I stopped writing deal because I got raided before I knew about graph. Because I was writing deal all the time, I, mm. I, and I was toy. Mm. Back in the day, I, I used to see um, tags on the on the outsides of trains, and I used to think, yeah, when the train stops in the station, you put your name up. So one day I'm doing all that. Next time I got raided by BTP for some top to bottom whole car dealer in Hammersmith, which wasn't me. It was the real deal who I've never met. I don't know who done that. Is piece. that a common thing? Is that a common thing for people to get it wrong based on the? the... Mm, well, BTPs then. They just didn't know who mm. who that was too. Mm. I was toy. I'm not the real deal. But it was just a, a mad coincidence thing. Mm. I didn't get done for it, but yeah, it was a, uh, one of my my learning curves. Oh, you know, yeah. with graph. So it was uh, it was act that Apt. kind of got you into the into the mix with this. Yeah. Did you paint with him? Me and Act, yeah. When we were in school, I left school um, when I was about fifteen. I got expelled. <laughs> okay. Early, uh, but yeah, when I left school, me and Act were active. He showed me. Showed me. I'd done my first track walk on BR mm. with him. I'd done my first throw ups, done loads of dubs with him, loads of bombing. Mm, mm. Like, I was just active. We were having fun, like kids, innit? Mm, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I loved it because I connected the dots in. Once I knew, oh, graph, this is graph. And then, because um, I was already into hip hop, mm. b boying, and whatnot, like, then I connected it. It was powerful mm. to me. Graph pulled me. Mm. In a big way. I always felt... Um, Tizer said this thing to me. And big up Tizer as well, that's my dog. Mm, he, um, big him up. Yeah, for real. Um, he, said, he said something interesting. He was like, you know, the moment you get respect, whether it's within the hip-hop culture and yep. the other disciplines within that, yep. or whether it's as a writer yourself, the moment you get props from mm. a graffiti writer mm. in anything you're good at, yeah. you kind of get the salute from the underground. Yeah, that's true. That's <laughs> Do you true. know what I mean? That's true. That's true. I hear that. I hear what that is. Because... You know, there's a lot of respect, like, it bounces back. When you meet people, I've mm. met people, you know, that I've never met before, and they're like, oh, you write idea, and the, the respect that comes out of them, I'm like, bro, man, mm. like, it's just cool, man. I'm, I don't even think that, like, people talk yeah. about legends, and I don't see myself Dude, as Dude, like, I remember the like, idea from back, you know, that, yeah, like, it was just a constant... Love, bro. It's just... <laughs> it's all love, bro. And, I uh, feel blessed. Like, to us, we was just... Like I said, we were having parties, man. We were just out there. Yeah. To be on the lines back in the day was a special thing. But it felt like you... if, And it still does, like, you adopt it within your lifestyle. Mm. It, do, it doesn't feel like it's anything forced. I don't think... I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. You, you Your name holds weight that it feels like it's a piece of you, but it's not all of you. You're kind of, it's, you are like this, it's an organism of, mm. of street culture. I hear that, yeah, it is. <laughs> you know what I mean? It is. Because when you're caught up in a movement, which is hip-hop, mm. yeah, and graffiti is a big part of hip-hop, like, you know, the mm. culture, the scene, the music. Mm. So when you're caught up in that and you learn about that, it just engulfs you. Mm. Yeah, and you don't, I, I, I didn't, none of this was planned, bro, mm -hmm. you know. None of, we, know, we didn't try it. None of us writers, hardcore, back and we're not going out trying to get... We just did it, yeah, do you yeah. understand? Because we're all brethren in the same thing. We understand mm. it was more underground, do you know, than nowadays. Mm. You know, when we had control of the lines, it was graph was more underground. Who out there do, do you see now that you could actually, like, pinpoint and go, they're just doing it? Rather than the motivations of other mm. Instagram things or right. money... Who are the people that you see on a, on a daily observation mm. that you'd say are just doing it for the same reasons that you would have done it back in the... I'd life? say nowadays you've got Oski, yeah. you've got Force, yeah. um, you've, got, you've got a lot of writers. I know. Yeah, but, you know, they've come, they're a different generation. Yeah. But they've got understanding of, because I know both of them, and they know, they know what what the culture is and yeah. why they're doing it. And they get Do you it. understand? Yeah. They're not just Instagram writers or just doing it just for a flick. Yeah. And where it becomes more street art. We're, graffiti is not street art. Yeah. 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 Every writer, every hardcore writer knows. Mm. Yeah, it's a lifestyle. Like We're not going out trying to do... We might go out and paint the same as a street art, mm -hmm. but it's totally different avenue. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we're hardcore, bro. That's right. We're hardcore. Fuck yeah. Fucking hardcore. <laughs> I mean? Fuck yeah. It's love. It's my dog, yeah. Mm. Um... Right, so on that note, so you got through painting, learning your craft, developing a taste and whatnot with, with ACT. Yeah. 
you were outside the zone in zone seven. <laughs> yeah. Man was bumpkin them times. Yeah. Like I hate to say this, but it was like um, for me to go to that boarding school helped me. Yeah. Because I was going in bad. I was in and out of children's zones, yeah. stealing cars when I was like 13, 14, yeah, yeah, getting yeah. chased by police up the M1 when I'm 13. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So and I was doing burglaries. Mm. But when I started, when I met Act, went to that school, Graph sort of took me on a path. Yeah. yeah. Because, like, it goes back to, like, I love hip-hop anyway. I've always been a hip-hop fiend. Mm. So when I realised graph, yeah, yeah, that took me. Do you understand? Mm. So it, I was getting, old man always getting involved in things. Mm. But graffiti kept me on, yeah, I've got another avenue. I can yeah. always go there. Uh, I don't need to uh, go there. OK, um, yeah, yeah, I got you. Do you understand? It, 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 served, a, it served a purpose, purpose. within the Yeah, the and it felt right. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? And the scene back then, like, it was so big, bro. Like, you know, it goes back to going out on the lines. Mm. We don't pay for shit, like, do you understand? We're having parties on trains, like, mm. meet writers anywhere. Do you know, we're doing this yard, going there, going racking, like, mm. graffiti is not just young kids running around with spray paint. It's mm. a whole bigger ball game mm. than that. <laughs> and that's what, you know, we love to be part of. And, you know, we didn't try it, but I feel so proud to have been part of that. Yeah, yeah, for real. Um, people's, I know people think, oh, well, the idea is dead now. He's not active. He'll never. Yeah. But I'm, it's always in me, bro. Yeah, yeah. I've got that ticker ready to blow any time. Yeah. One thing that I, I do, uh, I do appreciate is that it, that that um, addiction, the addiction quality mm. to that. I, I'm, mm. I'm, I'm under the impression that that's a, it's a, it's an ever itch. You must have heard man say before <laughs> it is addictive, and it. I wouldn't say it's addictive like how a drug is. Mm. Like, you can understand where they're coming from, but it's the pull of it. You yeah. see, that's the way I see it. It's pulling you because you love it so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a love, your big love for that, bro. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be going and getting nicked. Like, I was getting nicked all the time for racking, getting chased, this. My friend got electrocuted, mm. burned his whole harachis up. You know what I'm saying? Like, no you don't do that just for, you know, it was, you, something's pulling you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. D you must have a, a wealth of experiences on that lifestyle tip i think a lot of people out there when when they think of like uh, your your era mm. of writing it's it's, it's 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 a fuzzy nostalgia thing you know it's, yeah. the, it's the thing that people like mm. love to but is it was it as you know as depicted it was it literally wake up in the morning rack rack at the paint yeah paint go painting wake up in the morning repeat yeah was it literally, <laughs> yeah, like literally it was i can tell you uh my old typical days when I was 15 and 16, I used to get up, phone the man who I was linking at times, Trap or whatever, or Dyer or whoever. Mm -hmm. You see writers back in the day, because the lines were so open, like yeah. so accessible, yeah. like you could go and do whatever you want. So we'd always meet. Writers would always be at places on time. Yeah, like... It's called no phones, people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, back in the days, man. Believe me. People like are slack for timekeeping, but certain writers are on point. Yeah, yeah. Like, so, yeah, Who's like, the most on point? Who is the most on point? Well, I, I don't like to pick and choose because, you know, <laughs> but Diet was always there on time. I can believe Sub, that. Sub, I used to meet on the lines. Stacks, Regret, Choke. I mean, back in the days, I used to meet so many writers, but, you know, you pick a station, yeah. say, like, meet me at the bench at the end. Uh, back in the days, King's Cross Station at the back, yeah. there was a little tunnel bit and a bench there. Yeah. That was kind of a cultural place for writers. Really? It was always bombed up, like, eight in the evening onwards, you'd always catch a writer down there. Really? Yeah, that when you go there, you'd see, like, a J tag or a sub tag. You'd be like, oh, shit, I just missed him. Fuck. Do you see what I mean? That's crazy. Yeah. So it's really literally... It's crazy, bro. The freedom there. Like, there at 8 o'clock, in King's Cross like yeah, that. Yeah, bro. Bro. And, like, you just up and down the lines. And where I used to do a lot of insides. And you know where Graf was active back then? Mm -hmm. In the early 90s, a train was a gallery. Mm -hmm. Like, to a train. Like, when a train's pulling in, my eyes was onto that. Yeah, like, I'm, yeah. Who's up? Who's... Who's fresh? Oh shit! There's a burner running. Like it's just so much going on, bro. Yeah, yeah, and that's that that scene. That, that is scene was special. I was talking gold. to it's yeah, yeah, it's golden. It's a good to golden. golden. And, and also one that's that's um, totally unappreciative, appreciated by by the, the, the generation, which is super important that we have these conversations about mm, these times. You yeah, know, it's good. Yeah, it's in good. the case that we're trying to encourage this shit, but we need it to be respected mm -hmm. as part of the building blocks mm. that have created. It's been the uh, the progression. Yeah, yeah. Do you know, all right, graph has changed. It's got a bit weaker. But like what I said earlier, it will never die, bro. No. 
It's like but, you can call it a disease, you can call it a vermin or whatever. People, I've heard people say it's we'll never die because it's this and that. Mm. Graffiti is graffiti. It's got more powerful, if anything. Yeah, yeah. Do you understand? Yeah, social media's taking it there. It's the same with beatboxing, bro. Like, you know, you get these... There's these spikes in yeah, yeah. how people are consuming stuff. Yeah. And, that, and interest and yeah. all sorts. Exactly. And then they become... The people that a, a, adapt to that spike, they become the, the, the figureheads. Yeah, and more knowledgeable to it. Yeah. And therefore, you know, that's how things yeah. generate, isn't it? Yeah. It's mad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I think also that's what keeps the youth still interested like it's super important that we get the originals and the originals documented but at the same time um I've, sometimes i've sat there and i'm like yeah man like this is crazy like mm. why are there so many young people into beatboxing why are there so many young people into graph mm. but it's because technology mm. allows it opens doors for new mm. ideas and younger people for real. so on one hand it's like oh fucking hell like they've changed it but at the same time it's like well if you don't have fresh blood involved, then it dies. Mm. I think with graph, it's a similar sort of thing. You know, I've it often is. thought about that with it the is. cans and shit, like yeah. how yeah. crazy uh, you can do something. I mean, graph's lost a lot. Like, you know, the scene, mm. like you, what you was able to do, but it's gained in other ways. Like we've got graph shops now and mm. things like that, and paint's more accessible and that. But to us, we've never, we always wrapped our paint and that anyway. Mm. Do you know, like, so. Anyway, my first bit of graph started when I was in Stoke Newham. When I moved to Hendon, Northwest, I met Bosch. That opened so a different world to me now. I'd already, when I was 14, 15, 16, I'd met ACT. Then I started rolling around with Regret, Choke, this writer called Lask, On The Line, so Learning Insights. Yeah, um, those times, before I moved to Northwest, what I'm about to get into... I used to roll with Regret and Choke, Mace, RCS. Mm. Yeah, time. and then I met Cherish, who lives near my, where I used to live with my mum. Wow. And now Cherish opened doors for me because he was very active. He was he <sighs> was a very hardcore racker, a hardcore guy who's doing yards all the time. Mm. He brought me on a few yard missions. In fact, the yard missions that you see in Steel Injection, where mm. he's got, I was supposed to go with him to that to that mission, but I didn't go that night. Yeah, you know the one where he's got the hat on, and, yeah, yeah. and the other one <laughs> where the whole train comes in, and it's no amount of buff can buff this. Bro, that, that I was whole, gonna go to that bro, as well. That whole video in. is like a is is, is pre- bad boy video. <sighs> Hello, I've watched that a thousand, yeah. a million times. I don't know. Yeah, I can yeah. still watch it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's just, I mean, it's just that's <sighs> what the scene was. That's how yeah. London was. If you don't know, like, if you want to learn about London graph culture, watch that video, mm-hmm, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Like, it's not that long. Don't. It's, but what's in it is powerful. Yeah, yeah. And, over and, and over editing the music yeah. is very relevant Raw. to that time. Yeah, totally. It's perfect. I love it. Yeah, I've always, yeah, uh, yeah. And these names were the ones that were the mm. Irish honky. Yeah. Fucking teach. Right, event. Right, yeah. Yeah, all up in it, all yeah. over it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that was the scene. And that was, an e- like you say, each train was a museum piece of, yeah, of man. Exhibit, I mean, exhibited art. Yeah, man. London, the old trains. I mean, even now on Instagram, like, you see pictures of old trains, mm. old London still. And it's like, wow. Mm. To remember them now and look at them, like, it seems so long ago because the, they look so old. Mm. But they, those trains, man, man was in love with those trains. Yeah, I know. The big Mets, I the Northerns, yeah. all of them, the yeah. Jubilees, all of them, the bubble trains, mm. I love them. But the little Mets and the big Mets were the ones that people were most attracted That's to. That's what a lot of people have said, yeah. Yeah, because they were outdoors, they're big and stonky still, yeah. they got to travel a long way, they're yeah. outdoors a lot. Yeah. Sick. That's one thing I'll, I'll say, right, for the record, having Dons like you inside the place and having these conversations, the, 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 the love for the trains themselves yeah that's unreal. like a canvas medium for you that's like this is this is you looking at your in the same way an artist would look at their canvas yeah for real and that's what that that is totally that's intriguing in itself it's like like you you guys love trains I love, trains. <laughs> love them with without paint you yeah, love them yeah you love to get up on them have you always classed yourself as an art do you class yourself as an artist i've always been i like artists i like art Mm. And, you know, I like art and I, that's what sort of drew me to graffiti. But I'm more into graffiti because I'm into hip hop. And mm. uh, that's what drew me. Yeah. Uh, like the hip hop side of it. I know it's it's an element of hip hop. Yeah. So that's what drew me. And, you know, 
I am. I love hip hop anyway. Yeah. Everything to do with it. So, because you break danced as well, didn't I you? I used to break dance when I was yeah. younger, hard yeah. all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can still go if I want to. And you know, be a mix. I don't, you do I'll be a mix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do a lot of things. There's a lot of things that you know people don't know about me, but you know I'm a quiet guy. It does I have to be in that position. You know, like I'm um, mm. with b-boying now. If I'm in a certain jam and there's a cypher going on, I will get in there if I feel, you know. Mm-mm-mm-mm. But I don't go out a lot and they all slow down. But I've still got in me. Is, that, it, that is it fun graph. for you? It's fun. Fun. So it's not, a, it's not a financial gain or anything like that? Nothing like that. It's yeah. just a love. It's a pull for, the, for what it is, isn't it? Like, mm. the culture. You know, hip-hop is a powerful movement, man. It's been mm. a powerful movement all the time. Yep. Whether it's b-boying, beatboxing, which you, 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 you are hard at beatboxing, mm-hmm. bro. Um, DJing, scratch DJing, and MCing, isn't it? Like, yeah. it's all powerful things. That as a one it. unit, what unit, um, Normski said one, mm. remember Dance Energy? Of course. Back in the day? Of course. Normski said on there one day, Norm. put all the elements of hip hop into one, and it's it's one, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, global. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's rolling, that's powerful, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's right. yeah it's, and it's an unstoppable is, force. Yes. That's why I say it will never die. Yeah. Like, grass got a bit weak and whatnot. Well, you never die. You might get powerful, yeah. you know. In, and there's always the up and coming yeah. and different angles. That's it's the great. Thing. Technology pushes it forward that way. It's great, yeah. It's great. It's great. Hip-hop, um, hip-hop has this thing where you get to a certain age of being technically to, on, on your game. Mm. And then there suddenly becomes an entitlement with some people. Mm. Fair enough. Mm. I mean, we all want to get paid. Mm. And if you're really good, you go the distance. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I find it really, uh, I find it really cool as fuck that mm. you never went there with it. Mm. You've just kept it as this thing that I you have. It. It's your. It's you. It's, yeah, that's what I class it as. It's just what I love to be involved in, even though I'm not as much active as I used to be. But I still. The love is still just as raw mm. and as big, if not bigger. Mm. You know? As you get older, do you think that love... Like, we talk about the older pictures of the 90s, and, mm, mm. Um, of course, that, that era is, is just fucking golden. Like, I don't care what no one it. says, man. Like, that was just Great it. style. Um, big. Yeah, you mean you had to be... Big memories. Yeah, Great. You, you had to know someone to know about that shit. You couldn't yeah, just be like... I'm sure you've heard about my flat in Hendon. <laughs> Boy, believe me, and that's, I mean, what, what, what was the sofa? What colour was it? Uh, it was brown. Brown one. one. That was Teach it. had the green one. Yeah, it, it. it was the battle of the sofas, them time. Like, my sofa was nice. You know, that's like heralded <laughs> as like the, 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 the bro, you know a what I mean? lot of shit went down in my flat. A lot of missions, a lot of racking missions, even after parties, like after missions, going back, discussing, but zooting up or whatever. It's mm. just a great place, great oh, yeah. time. Bosch was a big part of that then. Really, yeah. Big up to my brother there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because when I met Bosch in Northwest, there's a funny story to this, he will laugh. Good. I told him when I first met him that I was a regret because I classed myself as a toy, you know. I met Bosch in, like, 91. Yeah. So um, so when I've met him in Mill Hill, he's like, yeah, what do you write with mum? I was like, yeah, I write regret because I wanted. I knew regret was a big right. So I was like, yeah, I didn't I spin him a line, innit? I'm not telling him, I'm a toy, man. That's what... But he knew Bosch is a clever guy. He rolled with me. He goes, yeah, write your tag. I, I tried it because I knew Regret <laughs> Star. So I wrote Regret Star, but he knew, innit? So I think it was that night or the next day I linked him. He goes, you don't write Regret. And then it come out. I told him my right idea and boom. Me and him had a great connection. And we always have since, the, since that day. The early 91, what, 91, 92. Um, yeah, I moved to Northwest, got a flat. A lot of writers used to come to my flat from all over London. Yeah, I know. I, I, all I can imagine... It was crazy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I get a lot of people pass through here. Sometimes it gets a bit nutty. Mm. It's a bit of a trap house, this mm. for podcasting. <laughs> but without question, when I think about, like, a load of, like, writers of that time coming... Yeah, yeah. That's like a fucking... That is like... The, 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 There's a lot <laughs> so going soon. on. You know what I mean? There's a lot going on. Mm. Daytime, daily, every day. It's just rotating. Do you know? Yeah. A lot of paint getting stuck in my house. Me and Bosch one time had like 50, 60, or maybe 100 tins just stuck there. You know, it was crazy. Did people used to just pa- come in like one, just like, here, yeah, keep these for later, suck uh, yeah, them in? Yeah, basically, we used, to, we used to paint so much. Wow. Um, because ouch, obviously, when I met Bosch and I moved to Northwest, I met all the writers in Northwest, like Scan, ouch, mm. Ricky, mm. you know, all these, all these writers in Northwest, it was like, and Graf was active then yeah. and that's when I moved to the Northern Line mm. 
Yeah, when I when I moved to Northwest, I started concentrating Different. on the Northern Nine. Yeah, and um, yeah, I met all these writers. Started doing Northern Nine Yards, Chop, June. Like it just grew. Mm, mm, mm. In the graph game, like it's like with me, I felt my my path has been. I do certain a couple of years with that writer, then I meet these writers, and I'm like, two of this writer. It's been a, a mad journey, mm. mad. And I've collaborated on the way with different writers, you know? Mm. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, done mad things with him, been there, got nicked with him, got chased with him, got yeah. electrocuted, boom, boom, been in this tunnel. It's crazy, bro. You've got Graph a real legit, mad. legitimate... Graph is mad. a legitimate story. Yeah, and, you man. know, one that will not take a lot of uh, mm. uh, un 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 unpacking mm. to know that the bump definitely is, like, no, stopping right here. Yeah, man, cool. But when you when you started at that e that era... And all these people, like, they're just, like, kings. Did you guys feel... Serious kings, bro. Serious kings. Did I you mean, feel it at the time? Was that, like, a... Did, did, did you know the amount of energy that was going into this? You know what I mean? Did you did you guys know it? You were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We okay. are. We are. We're doing this. I get this. where you come from, like... Yeah. When I started, when I was 15, and I met at that time, and I was rolling with Veggie and whatnot, and just learning the curves, yeah? Exactly what you're saying. I knew there was kings, like, because in Hackney, I used to see tracks in Hoxton. The way the guy used to bomb up was unreal, bruv. Like, because I used to take buses that regularly mm. down there with my mum and whatnot when mm. we're going that way. And I used to see tracks up in mines. I'm like, no, nah, bloods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I want to... What are you, you doing almost, here? <laughs> I, I know a bit of graffiti now. Now I know you're showing me, all right, this is what it's about. So yeah. I want to do that. Yeah. Do you understand? And that pull is amazing. It's very, very strong. People talk about addiction and that. It's it's, mm. it's on a par with that, bro. Mm. Do you feel like uh, right? It, it's on a par with it, like, but it's a different addiction. I was, I was, I'm, I'm on something here, and uh, I don't know how spicy it's gonna get. Spice alert! It's not gonna get spicy, I promise. <laughs> but 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 when you're like when you're going down that uh, that route of like seeing a competitor, um, right as a, as the athleticism of hip hop is, mm. you then rise to the challenge and you're yeah. like without knowing yeah all right Drax all right cool I see what he's doing he's giving me a blueprint here I see how much he's doing what, and what, you, you know, know right. and where he's doing it it's just like it sticks so it on makes you yes yeah. but and how far might, do you go though you go very far in the graph game you'll go to great lengths believe me like I said man's been chased in tunnels I've had I've stopped, you know, in, in tube tunnels, especially the big tube, you mm. get alcoves. I don't know if they built them. They must have built mm. them like that for emergencies, for people to run into mm. if, if be. But when we've been in tunnels, yeah, and trains come in, you know, you run into the alcove. Mm. I've run into an alcove one time. A train has stopped right next to me. Like, and I'm talking the third line is right next to me. Mm. Like, <laughs> yeah, and I've looked like this and the driver's right there, bro. Like, but the buzz of that. And when that train pulled off, you know the sparks? Mm. They're right next to me, bro. Like, it could have touched me. Like, the train pulled off, it's all going... And you're like this? Yeah, I'm sweating. Everyone, <laughs> every man is in the alcove. But when that train's gone, yeah, we're all blessed, bro. I've yeah, yeah. Out. The buzz of that, just alone, is crazy. And graffiti can take you far places, bro. That's why it it's not just extremes, little kids right? running around. You, you, you carry on thinking that. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, you're small-minded. Yeah, because graffiti is a... Bigger collaboration, much a movement which is with hip hop. It's not just little kids, it's all kinds of people black, mm. white, brown, mm. yellow, green, you name mm. it. And yeah. that's why people can't Big, quite compute it. Tall. Yeah. Yeah, and we we get shit done, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was gonna say something else, but let me just keep it clean. <laughs> you know, we get shit done, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Exclusive. Mm. <laughs> Exclusive. Yeah, um, at what point, though, do you say to yourself, ah, fuck, you know what? I think I've outdone my mat, or I think I've gone too far, or mm. would it be that when the sparks are flying and you're like, oh, shit? Bro, yeah. Well, when, my, when I see my friend get electrocuted from tripping on the third, yeah, that was trapped back in the day. We got chased out of Busy Bee, Barking Yard, and um, we're running down the tracks, yeah, trying to chase us, and my friend tripped over the, the electric one, yeah, the third, and he's so lucky that he didn't hit the, the other metal rail because he would have got conducting in it and yeah, proper got, shot. Yeah, yeah, totally. Because he's tripped on the third badly and sort of it's burned his Harachis. He had burnt brand new Harachis. And I'll never forget it, bro. You know Harachis, the top is like nice, white, thin, stretchy material. It's made a big hole in his Harachis, yeah, and burnt his foot is all bleeding and that. And um, that, 
that woke me up to that day. But do you think it slowed man down? No, man, we was out next day. Do you know, oh, my man was hobbling for about two weeks, but you know. Did he go to the hospital? No, man, no hospital, nothing. <laughs> he wow. just let that heal up, man. You know, put it down to a mad time. Mad time, mm. crazy dedication. Doing yards back in the day was great. Yeah. If you got chased, like, you're a bit unlucky, isn't it? It's so easy. You, you, you've been done, right? You, you've been done a couple of times. I mean, I've would, been done a couple of times. You've got, yeah. a, you've got a list that's like... I've been on, <laughs> well, I've been on TV for graffiti, on all the national news, on mm. Crime Watch twice. It's crazy. You know, I'm, I'm not that big a level criminal. It's only mm. graffiti, bruv, but... What do you reckon it is? is? Just, 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 it's this, this, this system, yeah, in this country. I mean, in other countries, you wouldn't go to prison for graffiti, yeah. but, you know... Unfortunately, here, I, I had to do a bit of prison, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, because um, maybe I was that active and they saw me as a fawn in the side, mm -hmm. basically. Making people examples of things. And yeah, whatnot. I mean, it could never Especially stop, man. Especially that time. Do you think that will ever stop, man? I mean, I've had two ASBOs for five years <laughs> and um, both ASBOs, I still did graffiti, you know, and I weren't active, active, but graffiti, my whole point is it can't stop a man doing graffiti. You can never stop a man. Mm -hmm. You know, if they've come from rawness and the real, like, you know, we're not just doing it just to tag along. Like, we understand where it come from. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you think a lot of people, uh, um, we talk about the younger generation, I don't think it's, like, compulsory that you have to be, like, into hip-hop or anything like that. No. But do you think people really uh, understand the uh, fault lines of where things derived from do you think people know mark bodhi do you think people should know mark bodhi people like that more people should mm. and i think not enough people know i mean okay there's still hardcore elements like we're still around in it mm. there's enough of us around so the, the history is known but you know with all technology now people's brains get a watch they don't they might not study you know they're just doing graffiti because they love the feel of a spray mm. can you know yeah. what i'm saying yeah and they're into different kind they're not even into it no it's probably, you know what i'm saying yeah. so but there is understanding. There will always be... Hip-hop is that powerful, isn't it? Yeah. Like, it's well documented. Yeah. You know, so... It's kind of part of its DNA, isn't it? It yeah. moves in that way. Yeah. Like you it, say, it's an organism. Yeah. That, uh, it's definitely always on the move. Yeah. And evolving. Changing all the time. It's changed. Yeah. Do you, do you still hang out, Buck, or meet up with any of the original guys? I do. We do. You know, Here everyone's... Now as we've got older, everyone... Like, I don't have kids personally yet. Yeah. Like none, but you know, a lot of my, my friends and that we all got kids and that. That's but he's, still... like, he's like me, man. He gets away with riding BMXs <laughs> and like you know waking up at like God knows yeah, what time. I still like to ride BMX and yeah, I feel free. Yeah, I'm like I'm single man still, so me, I'm real free. Yeah, you yeah. understand? I like that. What do girls think about that sort of thing? Like mm. you know, just just the the overall lifestyle and activity. Do, do girls fuck with that? Good question, bro. I've had um, some girls that are all right with it. Most girlfriends that I've been with. Don't understand it. I need really? to be truthful with you. I think it's hard to find a girlfriend that is understanding that much. Mm. So they will let you. They know what you're doing. They're not gonna. Mm. It's not gonna be a problem. Yeah. I've actually said to men, "You're lucky to have a girl who, who's into hip hop and understands it. Mm. Do you understand? And understands graph and stuff like that." Because it's, I've had girls that don't. What are you doing that for, man? Like they think it's for kids and that. Yeah. And they're saying, oh, I stopped graffiti and, you know. Yeah. I mean, you're a good looking guy. You know, if the mm. pixels, they ignore the pixels, you know. <laughs> well, actually, don't, so don't even look into it. But, cool. you know, you're a attractive guy. Like, what, like what, there must have been like a few moments where you're just like, me, maybe I've got to make a decision here. Am I doing graph or am I in a relationship? Yeah, you're because right. Because you right, must, you're right. you know what I mean? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. You do think that. Do you? It's true. I've, I've, I've had times when I thought that, you know, because I love it. I thought I was in banging love with a girl. Yeah. And then she's popping the question and saying, oh, why are you going there? Oh, your friends, you love your friends and yeah, things yeah, like yeah. that. But it's minor, isn't it? Like, yeah. I just see it now that they weren't the right woman for me. Yeah. <laughs> because if they was right, then you would be... Uh, yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. It's just the way I put it down to you, like, yeah. you know, it's yeah. not that big to me, really. Yeah. yeah. I think that, I think, uh, you know, it's a, a bit of a moth to a flame in it, the idea of being a an artist in any capacity is like mm. and girls to guys guys to girls you know it's there is that there is something so um expressive and mm -hmm. you know so like it's, it's it's not normal and they like not normal that's right but they also like security yeah 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 yeah, yeah. 
Like, yeah, that's right. That shit doesn't work, Ken. Mm. <laughs> it's <laughs> got to be the good, you know, balance, yeah. you know, and, and understanding of both. Yeah. Have you ever brought a chicken to your house and, and it's just like so much pain in the place? You know, with the brown sofa mm. and you roll in, it's like a couple of people mm. laying there, oh, yeah. someone playing the tunes in the corner. Bear zoop, smoke, bear, like, bear pain, bear yeah. graffiti everywhere. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, it's like a couple of, I suppose I'm being a bit harsh. Some girls I've been, been understanding, but. Mm. Some haven't. Here in the house, mm. very similar probably to your your gaff back in the day. Yeah, yeah. I see a lot of people come through. Okay. And yeah, man, the, the personalities mm. they're crazy. And like, crazy mix. Like, like you were saying, you know, it's. Great people, man. Yeah. Great people. Yeah. That's, that was the, the tug for me as well. Mm. The people that I've met, I just can't. You know, you can't speak highly more. Mm-hmm. The way, you know, we all look after each other and like, all right, we've had some madnesses in, you know. Mm. I've, not, I've been lucky. I haven't had too much madnesses. Yeah, but, mm. you know, look after each other in general. Mm. And it's a great place to be in, like, you know. Some people did they diversify and they go from, you know, the heavy racking and the lifestyle, but then they adapt it into the game, into, mm. into the industry, into whatever industry they're doing, you know. Mm. I'm always impressed by the transition in that, you know mm. what I mean? Mm. It's great. It's yeah. great. It's an involve, It's a movement. And yeah. there's always move uh, room for manoeuvring, you know, yeah. to grow. Have you ever, um, have you, uh, well, you must have done. You've, you've been through so much over your what, decades. Mm. What's the most uh, consistent of trends? What things do you see come and go? And what things you're like, oh, that was a good positive change that happened as a trend? In the graph, yeah. purely. It's mm. so, a good question. Well, the things we've lost have been... A lot, yeah. you know, like the old trains, the way you could move. Mm. But on the other side, the flip side of what you're coming from, I'd say photos, you know, development in technology is mm. great for graph now. Like, mm. you can take photos with these new phones now, and it's brilliant now. Brilliant, yeah. Um, video technology, so the power to document, that mm. is immense for graffiti. Mm. That would just help graffiti. That's why I say it will never die. No, yeah, that's right. Because that alone would just... It's an organism. It's a plat- yeah. And it's moving, it's making graph move. Yeah. And that's why I think nowadays, well, what you touch on, it's more accepted now. Like, back in the days, you'd be people turning their nose up at graph. But now, you go into a McDonald's, they've took a still of a, some <laughs> tags in London, it's on the backdrop in McDonald's, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, people are munching their Big Macs and that, like, that's, yeah. it's kind of mad, isn't it? It's cultural appropriation, cool. isn't it? It's kind of cool. Some hardcore writers might not agree with me, but you have to, you have to give a little, mm. you know? All right, we've lost so much, but it will grow next week. Yeah. Yeah, and the hardcore will never die, bro. Yeah. This is right. We'll never die, bro. Do you think, um, like, the hardcore extreme side, if, not if you can't beat them, join them. That sounds a bit harsh. Uh, but you know where I'm coming from. It's like, you're. Ne- you, do you win by upholding that 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 stance? A feeling. Mm. Because I can tell you, when I was up... Like, I class myself, because I used to do a lot of insights, and I was one of these writers, I'm watching what's going on. Mm. Do you know, and I'm not just going out and then bouncing, smoking. I'm watching what's going on on every train. On I was that fanatical about mm. insides, outsides, what, who's doing what. Mm. You know, so, you know, you, you're involved, you're very that much involved in it, that you know who's doing what and mm. stuff like. But do you feel like you, do you feel like you were ever owed it to be, um, monetizing what you're doing, or mm. or follow it, or felt like you w- you needed to follow the flock in what they were about and what what, what, no, what was going on. Never felt like that. Never. Like it's always been. You meet this guy. You meet this guy. We're friends first and foremost. We're friends because we we mm. both do this thing, you mm. know. And um, a lot of graffiti writers, you'll find they understand the elements. They know it's all to do with hip hop. They might not be boy like me or whatever, but they um, they love it. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. So it's a camaraderie, isn't it? Mm. Like it's a good camaraderie there. Nowadays, I find it's not that because I have beef with SFL and all that. You know, I don't know if you heard, but I got I got into a little beef. I got could have lost my life. You know. But right. you learn from things from, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I've been around, bro, so I've learned, seen so much characters, bro. I know who to mix with and who not to. Yeah, yeah. Like, fuck my haters. <laughs> We're here for love. Yeah, Do you yeah, understand? Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't, I'm not here to hate on no one. Do you yeah, understand? Yeah. yeah, I get it. It's always been that, so. Yeah, yeah. You know. You've always, you, you've been, from what I understand and, and you saying as well before we started, mm. you have been, 
you were quite prevalent on the insider trains. Yeah, I used to. Yeah, I was very attracted to that. What was it? You... Because it was hardcore. Hardcore, and people yeah. could, but I guess more people could see it. Yeah, and then when I learned how to do yards, I was onto that as well. Like, mm. Better yards, like man would go to yards taking their piecing paint. I'm going taking ten red oxides and mm. ten blacks, and I'm using them just bombing. Mm. Do you understand? Throw ups, tags. Psh. I mean, yeah, it was great, great mm -hmm. feeling, man, to get mm. up and to see your shit running. Yeah. I mean, that was the main tug for me as well. I forgot to mention that. Now, when you see your shit running back in the mm. day, like seeing all other people, when you see your shit, it's mm. powerful. Yeah, like, really. You, you're not. I'm not a power freak. Like we're not like that. A lot of people say graffiti writers, we have big egos. No, man, graffiti writers are cool. We're normal people, bro. Mm. But we love art and we love, you know, the freedom mm. of what graph brings. Going from the freedom of just putting your leg over and jumping mm. in mm. and being in there, killer, mm. for an hour, whoosh, smoking zoots. Back in the early 90s, we used to sit in the, the yard, man, zoots. It's like a, a heyday, you know? That's crazy. It? Yeah, not even getting chased. Do you think it's an no. element of them following suit what the Americans applied to to the trains? Yes, yeah. Because it, it, it's, it's all, from what I understand and what I've been told, it was like a night and day thing. Yeah, all yeah. of a sudden, it's like, you're getting done for this. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then yeah, that was kind of applied from New York over to here, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, because graph spread yeah. from New York got big here and then it spread worldwide mm. it's global you know what i'm saying mm. so that made the establishments you know they, they tried to tack it in all different countries you know whether it be rubber bullets in mm. france getting chased getting rubber bullets in your bum mm -hmm. yeah or here you're getting chased you've got to be careful fucking lines and all this it's crazy bro but that's what i love about graphite mm. graphite is our hardcore mm. yeah the, the ones that are real and get shit done yeah, they're interesting guys, bro. Mm. Yeah, I bet. I bet. <laughs> interesting guys, bro. Friends for life, I'd imagine, as well, if you mm. had all those experiences. Yeah, friends for life, bro, definitely. Craziest experience you can ever, have ever, never anticipated when starting? No. no. What's the most craziest one? I'd say... Oh, you know what? It's hard. But I'd say probably... <laughs> my friend getting electrocuted while we're getting chased. Yeah, you said it twice. That's the one, um, yeah. That was quite a big shocker for me. Um, I don't know. There's been so many. I'd have to say the chases out of the yards. <laughs> yeah, they're the big... Because insides, we had it on lock. But getting chased out of a yard by BTP and stuff <laughs> and getting away. <laughs> yeah, that's big buzz. <laughs> when, you're in the, when you're in a plot and you're in a bush or mm. you're, in a, you know, you're waiting for something and you're waiting for that three hours to turn into 15, 20 minutes back in the day, we're talking retrospect, of course, yeah. so, and you're there, you know, you jumped over a regular gate and you're there waiting. And is there ever a minute where you're just like, fuck, I could do it. You know, what are we doing? Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's three hours is a long time. A whole mad. night is a long time. It's mad. Like some people would be like, what are we do? What are you doing? Mm. Like, but, but because the art is drawing you, mm. but there must have been some moments where you're just like, this ain't going to work, is it? What are mm. we doing? It's, well, there's been times when there's been failed missions where we've gone prepared and then it's just flopped like mm. there might be people working or we just couldn't do it. But I'd say 90% of the time, bro, we got shit done, isn't it? Like, mm. And it's a great feeling leaving that yard or wherever we've done or whatever it is. Mm. Do you know what mm. I'm saying? To know that you've accomplished it without a chase, not even a dude of being able to smoke your spliff, have a beer. Like a line or whatever you're doing, isn't it? It's you know crazy I mean? that that you was party, the way bro. it was back then. Yeah, that. man. Yeah, man. And it can still be done like that if you know what you're doing. Do you know what I'm saying? Graffiti is, can always be done. Wow. I mean... Mm. It's a very powerful thing, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, like, the, the, the whole idea of it taking its course the way it has and, and the fact that, well, if you don't want to do that, you can still just as well get the paint and do mm, what you want. Mm, buy the paint, yeah. you know, you know and do I mean? the thing. You know what I mean? This it's is crazy. the whole. These all these different levels. It's crazy now. Yeah, it's mad. Like the freedom is still there. Freedom is still there. I think you freedom's know? key. Yeah. But how does? So okay, without walking too deep into the street art side of things, mm. um, like. You choose that lifestyle and you adapt with it. But now there is this side of it where, well, if I really can't be asked to rack and mm. I've got a couple of quid, I might just go down to Chrome and Black. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Do yeah. you know what I mean? It's yeah. a very different, isn't it? It's true. <laughs> it's true because where I used to grew up in the culture of vacuum paint, 
I hate to buy pain even today, but nowadays I will buy pain. Yeah, yeah. You know, the, the pain, that's another good thing. What's evolved for graph? The yeah. pain that's available now. Yeah. Big up, zombie. Hold big up. up, two codes. Oh, they, big up, two codes. Oh, for real, yeah. right? big up, zombie, all day. Yeah. Yeah, the people's. Ray, they like, will yeah, be on. I Come saw on. Ray, yeah. You know, back in the days on the trains, we used to get in the back of the carriage, right. yeah, doing that. I see Ray at an event years ago, 1990. Me and Nats was travelling on the back of a big mat going towards her and I see you waiting in the van. We didn't know those guys. Suddenly come past us and get in the back of the driver's Crazy. door. Crazy. Like pro pro professionals. They were in there. All we heard is balls rattling. When I got off that train, I see you wait in the van. You know, back in the days, they had a lot of that. Yeah, they had all in them. And I always wondered, oh. how did they... Yeah, big up them, man. Yeah, all day. Yeah, because See, these aren't like, you know, this podcast has so many stories of these. Home and black. Yeah, where it is now. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. That's comes from the great. heart, comes from integrity. That's yeah. why they uphold, they, 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 yeah. it's a mecca. Yeah. <laughs> it's a graph mecca. That is a great example of where graph can go. Yeah. You understand? It can take you any yeah. avenue, but look at where it got them, man. Yeah, that's right. Turn and bad to man, good, turn good like, to good. They're us, bro. Don't yeah. think just because they work in the shop, they aren't us. They're yeah, us, bro. Yeah. It's exactly the same, bro. But there is something about it that kind of it shows it shows younger people that mm. you can accomplish that's right yeah. don't think yeah, there's nothing here to do bro there's so much platforms yeah. do you know you can accomplish your dream whatever it is yeah. you know what's you know? your dream right, just to stay safe stay healthy mm. and be good isn't it yeah. be good in life that's yeah. it and I can't say I have a main goal I just want to do good in life and you know stay mm. healthy the cat for my fam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. And carry on rolling. Graph maybe in the pipeline. I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely is. Can't you know, take the jungle out the cat. People think I'm dead. No, 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 no. He's too quick to say that. Mm -hmm. I'm never dead. He may not have the brown sofa, but he definitely... Yeah. Graffiti is in me. I love, I love bombing. I love writing. I love graph. I love what it is. Mm. Yeah. Big up. Big up to I've crossed paths with. Back in the day, up to today. Come on, give some shout yeah. outs. Give some shout outs. Yeah, shoe, sub, form, kids. Regional DDS. Diet, yeah. um, teach, uh, elk, Drax, Robbo, RIP, uh -huh. joke, RIP, uh -huh. mood, RIP. Uh -huh. You know, even um, trip, yeah. lover, yeah. K bag. And K bag. Yeah, for real. Yeah, we don't forget man like that. That's right. Yeah, and um, everyone else who I've crossed paths with. There's too much names to mention. Yeah, yeah. Regret, Cause, to, so, Cause, Cause, Zonk, Day, Take, take Everybody, yeah? Cha. Everybody. Yeah, man. Yeah, Cha, mm. big up. Mm. <laughs> Cha remembers. Uh, I watched his podcast. Yeah, he remembers. Yeah, I haven't seen Cha for a, a good few years. Big up. Yeah. Maximum, maximum mm -mm. to every man. Mm, that's right, that's right. Fuck my haters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Underground will always live forever. Yeah. Big up, Rock Steady. Yeah. All day. Time. They see if you know, you know, see. <laughs> Comment if you know Rock Steady. Come on. Yeah. Old know. school will never so, die. You're my guy. Bless. Ladies and gentlemen, been a fucking pleasure. And we're going to do this again one day. We, we have to. Yeah. You know so I mean? much to talk about, bro. Teas in the pot, drinks in the fridge. You Definitely. know, we did. Calm. The mighty idea, DDS inside the yes. place. Hold tight. Thank you very much for checking and tuning in, people. You know, it's all love. Without you guys, there's no this, all right? Subscribe, share, tell a friend to tell a friend. Hit the bell button as well. We're going to keep it rolling, all right? You stay lucky. Don't talk to any strangers. <sighs> Cheers, brother. Peace. Peace. <laughs>